My name is Kim Myers. I'm a processing operating technician here in crop protection. My educational background is an associate of science in process technology from Los Medanos College in 2011. In my manufacturing block, we have two plants, one that makes a molecule for an herbicide, the other processes water streams from various plants around the site. So my day-to-day -day activities include work inside a control room and outside in the plants. Inside the control room, I'm watching flows, pressures, temperatures. When I'm outside in the plant, uh, I'm pulling samples, I'm running them in the lab, I'm prepping equipment to be able to put it back in service. What I love most about my job is the variety. No two days are the same. It all depends on what's happening in the plant and what the needs are. I think the biggest myth about this position is that it's a guy's job, that it's, it's, it's a guy's career, and that's just not the case. We need more women process operating technicians. We bring a different skill set that's needed to the workplace. So in this field of work, it is a high skill, high paying job. You don't need a four year degree. Yes, going to school, associate degree, technical school, maybe there's a little bit of student debt, not that much though. And the trade-off is huge. When I was young, I actually wanted to be a veterinarian. And I started going to college with that in mind, taking science classes, and then realized that wasn't the career path for me. If I could give myself advice for when I was in middle school or high school, I'd say it's okay to change your career path, change your college choice. As you discover more about yourself, your interests, your strengths, what you like to do, the job path will open up accordingly.